What is up guys? Frosty Osty 232 here today with another Frosty features. It's been a couple of weeks, so I'm excited to be able to get another one out. The newest addition to Marvel Strike Force data mined and then confirmed via blog post is Iron Man Zombie. Specifically the model from the What If series. So what Frosty Features is is a comic book background on the characters you use to play in Marvel Strike Force. So you have a little bit idea what's going on uh, with that character. If you saw Marvel's What If series, Iron Man is in it for more or less, or not What If, yeah, the What If series, episode five. Um, Iron Man is in it for a uh, kind of stunted period of time, but we do a comic book dive here. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the show, but mainly about comic books, which is awesome. All right, so let's jump into the thing iron man i left this slide frosty features iron man by the way if you go check it out um uh, i left the same logo up top i just for some reason that was funny to me um uh this so what you're seeing here is the iron man from uh from the comics uh so yeah he's not wearing his normal he's not wearing the suit he does in the what if they changed a lot of stuff in the what if but they paralleled it because you know writers like to steal uh, other writers things um, name Anthony Stark, but this time, so the zombies universe, uh, typically we stick to Marvel 616. That is the main comic book storyline. The MCU has no use, uh, no business using 616 for anything. Um, that's a whole other story, but Marvel 616 main continuity, uh, storyline of the comic books, the zombie storyline, we're going to talk about a, a few different, uh, universes today with this conversation the zombie storyline that main universe is earth 2149 earth 616 does have some zombie storylines but the main marvel zombie storyline is in earth 2149 okay so also there's more than one zombie virus in marvel continuity right so we're gonna talk what we're talking about is the main virus from the marvel zombies line and the one that it seems that the what if series ripped off um and i'll explain why it seems like they ripped off in a little bit first appearance First appearance, Ultimate Fantastic Four, number 21, 2003. Ultimate Reed Richards is like, yo, dude, I'm making a transponder thingy, and I can talk to people in other dimensions, and he hears back from another Reed Richards who's quote-unquote doing the same thing. Turns out that Reed Richards is an effing zombie and teaches Ultimate Reed Richards how to make a teleportation device, and in doing, in doing so, introduces Zombie Fantastic Four and some other people into the, um, uh, Ultimate storyline, right? Um, uh, so that's sort of kind of that, that, uh, first touch in uh, Fantastic Four, uh, I don't know if all of that happens in number 21, but that's kind of where, that, that's where it's introduced. Powers and abilities. So Iron Man, obviously, uh, part of the, all, I think every single zombie virus in Marvel continuity, all of the heroes maintain their powers. Iron, uh, Iron Man doesn't have any, right? Um, uh, he, he wears a suit. So he has his regular suit powers as long as he's got his suit on. But then... Um, uh, being the zombie, the way that they kind of portray him, they gain a near immortality. They no longer age, they decay, but they can keep living past that. Um, and then also along the way in the story, uh, the storytelling, um, zombie Iron Man gains the power cosmic, which is the, uh, that is the power cosmic is, uh, kind of that it's uh, being able to pull from cosmic energy and use it. So, um, uh, that's what Galactus gives Silver Surfer and any of his heralds. Um, uh, that's what, like, uh, Captain Marvel uses, things like that. So, Power Cosmic, big old upgrade for Tony Stark. Um, uh, and then the Nero Immortality is always a nice little side thing. Alias is Model 2. Um, uh, so what we see in, and I don't know if I, I might point this out later, but I'm going to say it now. In the What If series, it takes place, uh, during What If, when I say, when I'm referring to the What If series, by the way, I'm referring to the show. It takes place during Infinity War. Um, uh, so he's wearing his Mark 50 armor, which is way down the line. In Marvel Zombies, he's wearing his Model 2 armor, so it's a very early set of armor. Um, uh, so his alias, because, uh, Iron Man, the way he works is he's either just Iron Man or he refers to himself or, uh, people in the know will refer to, uh, his being as whatever suit he's wearing. His alias in this situation would be Model 2. Um, 
affiliations. He is part of the Galacti. Um, we will talk about that in a minute. Um, the zombies don't really, they, they, they do seem to group up, but they don't, uh, other than the undead Avengers, there's not really that many teams around, but the Galacti is sort of, I almost call it a brotherhood later. So we'll, we'll get into it. Background. So ultimately in the 2149, before the zombie stuff happens, it's not really clear as to how any of the events in the universe worked before that moment when the, the, the infection begins, right? So it is assumed that Tony Stark's background is the same or extremely similar to Earth 616 Tony Stark until he gets Fantastic Ford. So shortly after the, um, uh, Shortly after the uh, initial contact with zombies, and we'll talk about that. Um, shortly after the initial contact, the Fantastic Four essentially raid uh, Tony Stark. Uh, I believe it's the Avengers Tower. And uh, he is getting into his ar armor as he gets bitten, which is why Zombie Stark is in the armor in the first place. He's getting into it and he gets bitten and he's able to put it all the way on before he turns. Um, uh, so that's, that's his background. Same, same, same old background as Iron Man regularly, but how did he become a zombie? The Fantastic Four got him. Virus, hunger. So this is what we were talking about before. So, um, uh, the hunger virus. So, uh, in uh, quite a few, uh, frosty features in Marvel in general, there's a lot of bioweapons. There's a lot of viruses. There's a lot of stuff in Marvel continuity. There is many different types of zombie viruses so if you look for different um uh, you can pretty much find all sorts of different zombie uh versions of uh, the stories and things like that um uh, some of them are in main continuity some of them are not um uh but in this situation in the main marvel one and uh in the what if series copied off of the, the hunger virus so the hunger virus is a virus that essentially it's a mental situation so it gets in the virus gets in your head and then all of a sudden you crave human flesh right so and it's so it becomes so bad that it's maddening so it you you lose your mental faculties the longer you go without eating so the, the greater your hunger more or less the the more ridiculous or less intelligent you become um, uh, I'm gonna lay out all the facts. So for those of you in the know, just wait. <laughs> um, uh, before you before you trash me in the comments, just wait. Um, uh, so as you eat flesh, you gain your gain your senses back. If you don't eat flesh, you become more insane, more or less. You get to keep all of your powers and faculties, so strength, speed, whatever. Um, uh, but ultimately, you just become a mindless man-eating thing until you they until they eat flesh. Um, uh, there is no cure, uh, from, for the majority of the series, there's no cure until they find out if you go long enough without eating, your hunger levels out and you become just a person unless you eat. Like, they, they essentially operate as normal unless they eat again. So it turns out after, and it takes a while, a long while for them to find out, but ultimately if you go long enough without ingesting, you go crazier, 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 eventually it just kind of leaves. Like you still have the virus and you still have all the stuff, but the hunger is gone. Um, so it's a very important thing because later we find things like Hawkeye's decapitated head underneath a pile of rubble after 40 years has passed and Hawkeye's totally fine. Um, uh, just, you know, decapitated head and he's, he's chill unless he eats more flesh. Um, uh, so very important distinction, um, in, uh, so, uh, what we find in the what if series, they never call it the hunger virus, but it, it, the exact same thing happens. The way the virus comes out is different. Um, uh, they find out that if, uh, in what if they have Scott Lang's head in a jar and that's how they find out that if you don't eat long enough, it, uh, it, uh, it kind of evens you out because that's why Scott Lang's in it. He's he's like he's kind of that comedic relief head in a jar situation. Um, uh, that's how they figure that out in the show. Um, in uh, yeah. So also in the show, you see the thing where people are like feeding on Black Panther and things like that. It's not exactly the same thing. Um, Hank Pym, before they find that out, he has T'Challa tied up in his basement, and he he is slowly eating parts of his arm and his leg to try to keep. He's trying to keep his mental faculty so he can work on, uh, he goes back and forth from the evil, trying to build a teleporter so that they can go to a different universe, and also, um, uh, finding a cure. It really depends on where his, his, 
mentality goes from day to day. Um, so that's essentially as he as he like slowly devours T'Challa. But he T'Challa ends up getting out of there and gets a cool cybernetic arm and leg and becomes like the leader of the zombie resistance. Um, but yeah, so virus is hunger in this situation. All that to say. Brains grant brains. So, uh, like I said before, as you as they eat, as they eat flesh, they get their their wits back. So they when they eat people, they have like very short conversate. They have time to have a conversation of like how to help because this they also there is also a difference between zombie villains and zombie heroes. As the zombie heroes eat and kill people, they get that they get that time to like reassess. And the villains are like, we just need to find more people. Ah, uh, what if plot? Yeah, the quantum virus. So that's what it is. So uh, the quantum virus is a direct ripoff of, of the hunger virus. So the hunger virus originates in a different dimension. I'll talk about that dimension in a bit. Um, and then uh, a, wa a watcher in an attempt to um, uh, in an attempt to uh, contain a virus, the watcher in the uh, this is uh, in the hunger virus situation. A watcher sends a zombie to the 2149 because there's a contain he, he thinks they're going to be able to contain it um uh which uh was a horrible idea um uh, but in the what if plot um you have hank pym going into the quantum realm to find janet uh or his wife and he goes into he goes yeah uh, janet he, go he goes into the quantum realm and when he finds her she's already infected she bites him they both come out and then all of a sudden, it starts to spread from there. That is a very different... It, the virus acts in every way the same as the hunger virus. But when they come back out and they, they attack, it's, it's just a very different way to get a, the same thing. But they also went ahead and renamed the virus. But outside of um, just legitimately plot events like that, they're the same virus. Even though they're called something else. Natural Dead Leader. So, um, uh, in the comics... Uh, in the comics, you see uh, Iron Man kind of leads one of the groups of zombies um, in attacking human settlements. Um, uh, he just kind of takes that role onto himself. Um, yeah. Oh, I, I may have said this, I may not have, but I want to say it because it's in my notes. Um, uh, so, we were in the comics where we see Tony in his Model 2 armor. Um, uh, Tony in the What If series is in his Model 50 armor, Mark 50, um, uh, which is way more advanced armor. Um, so that's an entirely different situation. Um, and But oddly enough, Iron Man in Model 2 lives way longer than uh, Iron Man in Model uh, Mark 50. So here we go. Um, relationships. Giant Man, Wolverine, Luke Cage, the Hulk, and Spider-Man. These are the Galacti. So in uh, the Zombies continuity... This happens around the time that uh, Silver Surfer comes back or comes to warn people of the coming of Galactus. So essentially Silver Surfer shows up and then everybody, he's like, I'm coming to warn you, Galactus is coming. And then the zombies are like, man, you look shiny and tasty. And so they, uh, they kill Silver Surfer and everyone who eats Silver Surfer gets some of a power of cosmic. And now that they know Galactus is coming, they use their wits to build this like gun that they can concentrate their cosmic energy into. So when Galactus shows up and he's like, I'm Galactus and I'm going to eat your planet. They're like, no, you're not. And then they kill, they, they, they use this gun and they shoot Galactus. It doesn't kill him. It kind of stuns him a little bit. There's a fight and they charge the gun again and they shoot him again. And then Galactus is dead. So then Giant Man, Wolverine, Luke Cage, the Hulk and Spider-Man and Iron Man all like hound dude hound galactus and just eat him and there's a few more of them but those are kind of the main ones but essentially anyone who eats galactus gains total power cosmic and they become the galacti which essentially instead of being one celestial they're a group of people they're a group of zombies that just go around the universe devouring and devouring um uh planets and people so they, they go and they devour the flesh and then they devour the planet and then they move on move on move on um uh that's the galacti so that's they're, they're sort of like a brotherhood situation and uh in this particular situation um in the zombie storyline 40 years pass as as it goes on and um uh essentially the galacti the, the earth was left alone uh and they had their own zombie problem so there's a human kind of resistance and zombies and they they kind of do this thing 40 years back and forth um uh, in the time we find out that there's a not a cure but like 
uh, treatment, just keeping them away from you, a quarantine for an extended period of time will get them back to their senses. Um, uh, but the Galacti have then eaten the rest of the entire universe, right? So they go back to Earth and they're like, yeah, we need a teleporter to go to another dimension because there's nothing left here to eat. Um, uh, so that, that brings them all back. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so that that the the big thing with the Marvel zombies is at that point is they are constantly trying to go to different dimensions. That's how they spread. They destroy a universe and then they then they co then they move on to the next one again and again and again. Like we talk about in our power scaling and frosty features, um, uh, they are doing something on a universal scale. They destroy a universe, move to the next one. Destroy a universe, move to the next one. Not all at one time, over time, um, uh, but still. Uh, so yeah, that's their relationship. Notable events, the beginning. So, the way the Marvel Zombies kicks off, as I said, um, uh, we, uh, on Earth 9, so we are operating, uh, we are operating on, uh, yeah, so from Earth 91126, which is a whole different situation and very little is explained about it other than that's sort of where the zombie situation started right and on that one it's very similar to the 40 years later the entire universe gets kind of gets uh destroyed or whatever and um uh, ultimately all the zombies are killed except sentry and everyone is all all life is killed except zombie sentry and the watcher was like you know how i can contain this i'm gonna send sentry to 2149 um, I'm gonna send him to the this alternate Earth, which ends up being, um, uh, which ends up being the what we what we read as the zombie verse. So what happens is they see the sky open up, and, there, and there's like purple lightning, and they see something fall from the sky. The Avengers go to all you know collectively go to see it, and they run into zombie Sentry, and um, uh, where they think they're gonna help. The virus is actually more attractive to superhumans. So uh, the Avengers responding is actually the worst thing that could have happened. And they all get infected by uh, by Sentry, which uh, honestly also, you know, as far as somebody surviving, it makes sense that it would be Sentry. But like, you know, that he also would be totally the one of the only dudes that if you send it back, he's going to be able to, you know, 1v the Avengers pretty easily. So anyway, every single one of the Avengers gets infected from there. And then that passes on to the Fantastic Four, etc. And the entire planet Earth is taken over in less than a day. By, zom by zombie superhumans um, um yeah so they, they, yeah definitely definitely not a good way to start the endings zombie iron man uh kind of trigger warning for gore coming up um uh zombie iron man does not fare well in either of the situations um uh, in the i refer to the bat uh where they eat uh silver surfer iron man gets cut in half by silver surfer um uh, so he has cybernetic leg implants as it goes on then he becomes part of the galacti and then as uh, being part of the Galacti, um, uh, he lives for a while and eventually he pisses off the Hulk. And so uh, the Hulk in the in the entire story, uh, in the zombie storyline, uh, the Hulk, because he goes mad anyway, with or without the hunger. So the Hulk ultimately becomes like mega bad guy, uh, essentially. So anytime he rages, he also kind of, you know, whatever. So he will eat zombies. Zombies don't eat other zombies. It makes them sick. Um, but he will eat other people and he just, he kind of kills on his own free will. So eventually Iron Man pisses off a zombie and this picture once again is pretty graphic and he crushes him in his suit with his foot. He knocks him out of the air and just steps on him and kills him. Um, uh, and in the what if series, um, uh, Hope Van Dyme, the wasp, um, uh, she just has an army of ants eat, uh, Iron Man pretty quick. Um, uh, so, uh. Yeah, and so with a 40 year time gap, Iron Man lives all through that 40 years, but he's in the whole scheme of the zombie storyline, he's actually not, he's important because he's Iron Man, but he's not one of the main characters. The main characters being more like Spider-Man, Reed Richards, Reed Richards, you see, you follow, you see a lot of Doctor Doom, uh, you know, T'Challa, Giant Man, those are kind of more the focus, and Iron Man's just kind of supporting, so he's actually, Honestly, uh, what I gave you was uh, the majority of the Iron Man storyline in the Zombies universe, and of course the What If, because he's only there for as long as I said. But yes, a gruesome, gruesome death, uh, and very graphically depicted um, in the comics. 
So now we go on to power level. Power level is, uh, Marvel Strike Force doesn't do power level, but I do. So power level is kind of a, um, a character's measure as like what, how strong their kind of re, uh, how strong they are on a solo thing. How much damage can they do in one go? Um, uh, so what we're going to look at a multiversal means you can end all realities at once not just your reality all all of life as it is known in any dimension or your own universal means you can end anything in your dimension move on to the next one take it out once again this is the idea because i talked about that them having a universal uh universal effect you can be of a lower power level and effect on a higher level right so this was a group of people that were that had a universal effect over time all right we're talking about pretty much immediately right um, uh, so cosmic, that means you could take out planetary bodies without it, without an issue with enough, uh, grit and effort. You could take out a solar system, maybe small galaxy, uh, nuclear being able to take out a small city. Um, uh, yeah, taking out a small city with enough time and work. You could maybe take out a, a single planetary body, but it's not easy. Um, um. Uh, do, 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 do. city, city being the most common power level in Marvel, uh, city being, uh, good examples of a city level hero like Spider-Man and Daredevil. Um, you could take out a brick wall and, uh, with enough concentration, whatever, you could probably take out a city block. Greg, Greg is the undead Asgardian that hella spawns in Marvel Strike Force. And for the sake of our argument, we are saying that Greg is a the same strength as a regular human being. And if I have a plastic screwdriver and some Mentos and Coke and a lot of anger in my heart, I could probably theoretically take Greg, right? Um, uh, so in the case of Iron Man, if we go back to Frosty Futures Iron Man, I argue that Iron Man is the strength, uh, he has at nuclear level strength and he can go up to cosmic depending on, depending on suit, depending on situations. Um, uh, but on average, Iron Man is at a nuclear level due to the fact that zombie Iron Man gains the power cosmic. We will not be seeing the power of cosmic, by the way, in Marvel Strike Force, it seems. Um, but he gains the power cosmic, which gives him the ability to be able to level a planet. He becomes strong, you know, kind of a similar level of store. He gets the literally legitimately the power powers of the herald of galactus and ends up becoming getting he ends up getting that power of galactus so zombie iron man actually lives kind of in between universal and cosmic but leaning more towards the cosmic level so that is where that's what i've got on zombie iron man let me know what you thought in the comments i hope you had a good time with it i had a good time putting it together um uh, as a reminder, I stream on Twitch at the link above every Sunday at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, that's where we do Frosty Features Live. Um, uh, hit me up in the chat. Let me know if you have any questions down in comments. If I missed anything important that you wanted to hear, maybe another virus Iron Man. Um, uh, sometimes he doesn't get bit and he's actually in his armor because it makes more sense that Iron Man would survive because he'd already be armored up, right? That's all, that's the only difference it would need is that he would need to be ar armored up first and he would be one of the easiest survivors in the whole situation. Um, uh, so there is there is a version of that. So definitely check out the various zombie storylines in Marvel. It's really good time. It's a good time of the year. It's October. It's spooky season. It's time to check it out. Um, uh, like, subscribe, share. Hit me up on Twitch. Doesn't cost you nothing but a couple of clicks, baby. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all have a fantastic, fantastic week. And most of all, stay cool.